This is my Lance English collection. I put a lot of work in it and say, I don't want to use Superman anymore. Is my data safe? Will I be able to transfer it to some other application? You can use export to XML. Maybe let's export the whole sports branch. First, I'll put it in the browser. Arizona Memoirs. Out. And export to XML. I can remove HTML codes of any. Maybe I'll keep my learning data. Now let's do it. Well, this is my XML file in the browser. It's an Internet Explorer in this case. It's my Supermemo collection. You can import this whole collection to any application which supports this format using your own tools. You can even write your own program and then import all that data to your collection. So this is a Supermemo collection. We got 90 elements, as many as it was elements in the sports branch. Here's the element, and the elements can be nested because we want to reflect the tree structure. And as the first element is advanced English concept, and it nests uh, first topic with identity 70,183, it's advanced English. And this nests uh, further branches like culture and history, sports, and finally the list of elements in sports. And the elements look like this. The first is an identity, it's an item. The content is like ball of the field, some soccer, there's the sound, there's the file name, mm, the sound is an answer, we have some learning data, it's the interval, the repetition, the repetition history, we have more elements in this branch, and more learning data, etc. So that's an excellent file. As you can see, this file is easy to read. Uh, anyone with a little bit of programming knowledge can quickly write an application and can convert this file to any, any target application. If this format looks complex to you, you can even do it in a notepad. You have a support element, ID, title, item. You don't even need this ordinal. You can have a question and answer, say, two sounds, and that's it. That's the whole element. You can keep them in line. They don't need to be nested out of the tree, and still, it's still going to work. And this is how this file looks like an Internet Explorer. You just create this file manually in a notepad. It's super simple. Then you can import it to Superman. Let's see if it works, my little file. I will import it to Superman with XML import. This file is test one. Uh, I already have this file here. I'll import it. Identify with. Well, there's a little problem. Those files play together at the same time. Therefore, let's create an import template. Program it more to our liking. This will work only in Superman, you must remember, because some options are not supported by this XML format. It's more universal and some details will not be supported. So let's create a little template, let's call it uh, template, save as template, let's call it XML, XML. Let's make it distinctive, let's make it um, some, say, green color. Data. Okay, uh, let's set up the uh, parameters for sound files to make sure we don't play together. So let's play this sound at browsing on the question. Identify and with this file uh, on answer and after grading. Let's see if it works. File import XML import test one file. Now I choose template for the question and answer. So that would be a template I need to choose from the template registry. The name was XML. Yes, it's in here. Let's Identify see. with. Identify. Let's see how it Identify looks. with. Let's test it. Identify with. Data. Data. Identify with. Seems to be working pretty nice. 